the bearded helmet crest, also known as the Chivito de Paramo, has the scientific name of Oxypogon guerini. It lives on the Paramos of North Andes, which is found in the North Andes mountain chain park, which includes Colombia, Venezuela, Peru, and Ecuador. The pre-paramo is located on a thousand meters over sea level and it has a vegetation like the savannas. The paramo is known for its small vegetation, its high humidity and for being between 3,000 and 4,000 meters over sea level. It is also characterized by having a very similar range of temperature and weather over the year. Evolution During the Pliocene, between 5 and 3 million years ago, the north part of the Los Andes mountain chain began to grow up. This process was due to the high volcanic activity of this period that was caused by the crash between tectonic plates. These same eruptions built Central America. Finally, when the paramos were formed, species from the north migrated via Panama to the ecosystems in which they established their lives. With the migration and the formation process, most of the vegetation, like frailejones, plants and especially animals, established their habitats. Human impact on paramos. Many tourists are not aware that the paramo is very important for humans since it provides water and oxygen for big cities like Bogota. Since they are not aware, they throw garbage in the paramo and pollute it. The farmers and the people that live close to them don't respect the National Natural Park and throw garbage or harvest plants like corn or ordinary vegetables like onion or lettuce. Adaptation The color of its feathers is brownish and greenish. This is an adaptation to camouflage among the plants. Also, it is a pollinizer hummingbird that feeds from frailejon flowers nectar, principal of the gender Espeletia. The frailejon adapted the colors of its flowers to make them more attractive to the bird. The chivito has a beak of 8 mm of length, which is specialized for the Spelletia flowers. Also, the oxypogon mate in the first months of the year, when the Spelletia flower germinates. Finally, it builds its nest with frailejo wool, lichens, and moss, a combination that is only found on the bottom. Human impact on the Chivito. The bearded helmet crest makes its nest over the river shore, but because of the fishing, its habitat is in danger. Also, because of the trash in the not native plant corpse, the valley horns are disappearing, taking out the bird's food. We managed to solve this by asking people who actually know how to edit to give us a little bit of help and then the rest we managed to figure out on our, on our own. Another problem we had was searching for information uh, about Oxypogon guarini, which, well, because it's an endemic bird, not much people know it. And uh, as well, not much people write about it, so it's very hard to find the information. Um, we also had problems uh, while searching information about the Paramo history. Now that well, it's very, it's a very complicated and uh, rare topic. Where, but well, after a long research, we finally uh, accomplished. 
Another problem we had was that we did not have like quite a lot of time to do this project, but we solved it really easily and really simply. We took time of our recesses and our free time to be able to do some research and to film a little. We made the video in recess which helped us get through the project on time. During this video we learned how to research better information that because this information was very difficult to find. Also, we learned how to manage better our time because it was a very important also, we learned the history of the Bible, and that the entries in the Bible were wrong, and the Bible was wrong, and the Bible was wrong. Also, we learned about the kind of thing that's efficient to learn about the relationship between the audience and adaptations that are in the Bible. Finally,